Hi, this is Julie with Beauty Holic, and today I want to show you how to use a bench top polisher. So this is a great tool because what it's going to allow you to do is take, for instance, a ring that looks like this, that's so all blackened, and turn it into a ring that looks like that. So it's going to help to really shine up and polish some of your metal pieces and jewelry. So I want to show you what's involved with this bench top polisher. I want to show you how to assemble it, and then I want to show you how to operate it. Before you get started, though, you want to work in a well-ventilated area. You are going to absolutely need some safety goggles and you're going to need a mask as well. So you want to not breathe in any of the dust. So definitely cover your mouth, keep your mouth shut, and then also uh, use some safety goggles as well. So always take precautions. So when you're going to get this kit, it's going to arrive like this. So this is the base form of it. You are going to be given two screws, which go right here, and you're going to want to screw it down to your work surface. And that is to prevent it from starting to jump around or move around as you're applying pressure and you're doing your buffing and you're going to maybe end up scooting it like this, which you don't want to do that. This is a power tool, so please take precaution. Now for this video, I am not going to screw it down, but please note that you really do need to. So also with your kit here, you've got two tapered spindles, one for the left side and one for the right. You'll see there's a little L there and a little right there. So this is going to be left and this is going to be right. And you're also given a little tool to help use them. You'll see that it's got two set screws and you're going to go ahead and line this up with this flat portion on the motor shaft. So I've got the left-hand side one. I'm just gonna slide that on until it's about an eighth of an inch from the actual motor casing. And then I'm just going to take my little tool here. Whoops, I don't want it to be flush up against it. I do want that little space. I'm just going to twist until that is secure. I'm going to repeat that same step on the other side and do note this is not plugged in at this moment. You will not want to plug it in until you're ready to actually use it. So I'm sliding this one, same distance, and screwing those into place. Now one thing I want to show you before I go any further is you also get these two little guys. These are motor brushes and these are replacement pieces so you're not going to use them right off. But after about 100 hours of continuous use on this, you will need to replace these when they get down to about a fourth of an inch. They're going to wear down and where they go, I've got a little screwdriver right here. Let's see, I've got a spring right here and there's another one of those that's brand new. So you'll just replace it, put the coil onto this little top notch area, and put it back in place. So there's one on that side, and there's one on that side. So you've got two of those. So when you first get this, you're not going to have to worry about these, but I did want to show you where they belong. We're going to mount our medium grit abrasive wheels, which come with this. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to hold right here and then you're going to twist. To do the other wheel, you're going to do the same thing. Push that on. So you can either twist the motor shaft or you can twist the actual wheel. Those are secure. They're not going anywhere. So at this point, I'm ready to turn on my machine, and then I'm going to put my mask on, and I'm going to put my goggles on, and so I'm not going to talk as I'm doing it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. A couple quick things. When I first turn this on, I turn the knob. It's going to sputter a little almost. It's going to go psh and stop and stop and then once I get past a certain speed it's going to catch and it's going to keep at that speed and then I can reduce the speed and it will go ahead and lower the speed and it won't be that stuttering. That's just the way it starts up. So it is variable speed so you can adjust the speed and I suggest starting on a low speed to begin with until you get more comfortable with it. The wheels are going to be coming this way and so we're going to point our piece downward. I've got another earring over here actually I'm going to use as an example. 
We're gonna be pointing our piece downward. We're gonna make sure we don't touch the wheel. And actually, I do recommend using some type of finger protection as well because this is gonna heat up as you're doing this. So you wanna be really careful with that. I'm not gonna do that in the video, but please, uh, word of caution, please do try to take some type of caution, precautions there with your fingers and how this metal is gonna heat up. I'm just not gonna do it for a long enough time that I'm gonna let it get very hot. So here we go, I'm gonna plug it in, I'm gonna turn it on and show you how this works. Okay, there you go. You can see that beautiful, bright, shiny silver compared to the way it looked beforehand. You'll also notice when it was plugged in but not turned on, we had the red light. And then when we had it turned on, we also had that blue light. So there you go. And you can see there's quite a dramatic result without very much effort or strain. Very easy to use bench top polisher.